Hey ladies and germs. Okay, how's it doing? Is he doing good? That's so good. That's very good actually. That's super good that you're doing good. And if you're not doing good, please do good soon. I want you to be good. Okay, <laughs> today's tutorial is super super easy. As you can see in my preset of Sony Vegas Pro, I'm gonna teach you how to have white borders in case you don't got square video and just in general if you if you just want to stretch out your edit this video could not be possible without the help of the very kind girl that i watched a tutorial of in the beginning i'm gonna link that in the description i'm basically gonna say what she said plus more information because she did help me out figure out how to do everything else so let's say you edit and you have the just standard editing thing Okay, let's just say that you have the regular thing, which is like usual, um, and then you edit, you bring it to your phone, and then you post it on Vine, and you know, it's just the regular thing, and you need the white borders to make it a square. Uh, let's say you don't have the application that I use, which is Square Video, and your edit looks something like what I'm going to show you. Basically, your edit has this shape. Um, and you want white borders. So what you're gonna do, I'm just gonna show you the properties that I use so, so you know. So you're gonna click on properties on the top left of your stuff. Uh, the template usually for you it's gonna be like 192, what is it, like HD, 192, 180 or whatever. The one I used to use was um, I think that one. Uh, so what you're gonna do is that you're basically gonna, I guess, keep it the way you have it. All you're gonna have to do is just uh, to like the uh, how wide and the height of it uh, it's gonna be something like like that for you what you need to do is just take this out and choose a 180 for everything uh, basically that's gonna square up your stuff pretty basic the video that I've watched it did uh, 720 but the quality is a bit it's not as good I recommend you to choose the, the lowest amount that you have let's say for you it's like uh, let's say yours is a uh, uh, 1280 by uh, 720 use 720 by 720 like don't overdo it uh, the reason why I'm using 180 is because it was 190 uh, 1920 to uh, uh, 180 so you use that and then you keep pretty much everything the same uh, audio whatever so you're gonna click start all new projects with these settings apply and then okay Basically, every time you're gonna open Sony Vegas Pro, it's gonna open it like that. So as you can see, I'm gonna show you the... Okay, so here's how it looks like. God damn it. Here's how it looks like. Whatever, you get it. So basically, you want white borders, but you don't have the application to do so. You're gonna open a new video track. You're gonna slide it right under media generator scroll down and then solid colors bam you just drag the white underneath and you got yourself the white borders is in this gray so this is basically what she says to beautify it because we all know that i like to beautify my stuff a little bit more i recommend to add like some sort of dimension to it so you're going to go into the effects you're going to oh sorry wait you're going to click on uh, the entire line click on the track effects and then what you're going to add is the layer dimension dimensionality which is the effect that I love the most. Uh, you're gonna go on glow, you're gonna click on outer, and then the color you're gonna take it to black and make it like a amount, put it to a 0 0.3. So I don't know if you notice the difference, but there's like the white, like uh, the black right behind. I feel like it adds a little bit of uh, dimension, makes it prettier. Uh, so that's basically what you're gonna do. And then you can save that. So basically to have that, I recommend you to use, to make your, uh, your edit on the 190, 1920 uh, or whatever, just the regular rectangular shape, then open a new project, like render that, open a new project and then do that. So I rendered, obviously I rendered my edit, so I just opened a new Sony Vegas, I put those properties and that's what I did. So to render that, you're just gonna click on the render button as usual. And then uh, what you're gonna have to do is that once you render, go into the main concept, ABC, A, A, C, Internet HD. That's what I use when I just have the rectangular kind of shape. You're gonna click on customize template and name it something else. I named it square for vine, whatever. Uh, so just uh, click uh, blah, blah, blah. And then you're gonna save, like just click on the save template. Well, actually figure out your stuff. What you're gonna do, 
basically frame size you're gonna click on custom frame size and then you use exactly what you used so 1080 uh, that click on the audio check that include audio and then you're gonna click on OK so save that OK and see now you have it so that's right there I usually just put that so I don't have to see everything else but I don't need it so mine is the square good square for mine make sure that you do everything like that or else once you're gonna transfer transfer it to your phone you're not gonna be able to watch it like it's you're gonna see it on your computer but it's for some reason you're not gonna be able to like actually see the video on your phone it's not gonna allow you to so make sure you do that and then check here as well custom everything looks fine this is basically what you need to do to add the white borders now as a bonus for you guys what I'm gonna show you is how to edit like that like use the entire square the entire section to actually make your edit. All right, so today we're editing fetching, apparently. As you can see, that's what it's gonna look like. Very, very normal. Um, let's say you wanna zoom out, zoom in. It's You're pretty much gonna do exactly the same, but when you're gonna edit with this, just match uh, uh, aspect, what is it? Aspect, uh, output, uh, wait, match output, uh, that one. Okay, you're going to use that one and then to just put it to the original so it looks like that pretty much but let's say you want to zoom in and like bam you're going to see fetch more let's say slow let's say fast who gives a fuck you're basically it's going to zoom in into your entire video you see what i mean so let's say you want to rotate it or uh, let's say we're use the blur more curve whatever just like a quick this is basically my two last edits on my vine account this is what i did I just used exactly what the girl told me to, to, to do, but instead of just having the white borders, I decided to use the entire place to edit. So let's say you want to, uh, one, two, three, four, five, and then we make it rotate, and then like, uh, minus 90. Do you want me to show you guys my, do you want, okay, a bonus point, hi for being here, good thing you're here, I'm actually going to show you an effect that I really like to use which is like a rotate but then like a like a bounce okay let's say at the end you have minus 90 all right you got that you're gonna go like five or like seven frames before let's let's go five one two three four five okay you're gonna put it to 15 so let's say you go minus 90 at the end put positive 15. let's say at the end it's 90 you're gonna put minus 15 you get it so like that okay as usual make sure it doesn't look fucking weird oh and put wrap x to uh, reflect. If you put the Y, we're not actually going to see it. Unless you put your S blur uh, before pan crop, but the thing is that if you do that, it's going to look fucked up, so just don't do it. Alright, um, so yeah, um, let's see if it doesn't, okay, no, take the wrap Y, it looks fucking weird. Okay, and then you want to have a smaller gap between 15 to minus 90, so you're going to put, let's say you had 5, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Because you want it to go smooth, so you're going to put it... Okay, I got cut off, but there you go. So you're going to have a larger gap between the 0 and the 15 than the 15 from the 90. So you're going to have that. That's basically 0. You're going to put that to fast. And I'm going to show you what, it's, what it looks like. This is an effect that I forgot to talk about in my... Uh, S blur more curves shake effect like my favorite thing. That's the one I forgot. So bonus point if you're looking at this and You just are watching <laughs> you got that more god damn it. Okay. Want to see how it looks like look See what I mean? Look at like boom. I like it when it does that. So that's basically what I do This is how to make the white borders basically Nelson trash asked me to make this tutorial Because I was so pumped when I did this <laughs> disclaimer it takes five times more like time to make an edit but it looks so good so like there you go all right so that's how you make the white borders either you don't have square video and you just want to you know well actually how do you post it on vine if you don't have square video pretty much have to have it right unless you use something else i don't know what i use is square video it is a paying app but it's like three bucks yo so yeah that's that's basically basically it so that it actually gets out of your regular frame as you edit it might look weird but as soon as you post it on vine it's gonna look really dope so that that's literally all you gotta do thank you for watching this tutorial thank you for the girl that actually made the very nice tutorial and gave me the idea and made was i was able to do that if you have any suggestion for videos either a tutorial gaming or just a regular video and you have any ideas 
let me know in the comments below, it's gonna help me a lot. Uh, thank you for almost 700 subscribers! What the fuck? It's going faster than before. I remember taking like for 100 subscribers, it took me ages, but now it's going faster and it's great. I'm, I'm very flattered. I'm starting school on the 24th, which the 24th of August is also my birthday. So <laughs> happy birthday to me, I'm going back to school, which is not that bad. Uh, but it is to tell you guys that videos are going to be a bit more rare, which I mean, who cares? It's just tutorials and whatever. But yeah, I might make less videos already now. I'm kind of getting back into the mood of school, so it's just just to let you know. Thank you guys for watching again. Uh, stay weird because that's a fun way to go. I forgot to say that in the last two videos, but yeah.